Mitch Panseco, Tlok Deshpa. Mis saludos y respetos for Blast. Greetings to all my gente out there. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. My name is Manny and I'm the Jaguar Man. Mucho gusto. For those of you who are just cruising on by, this is a channel, homie, where we make homies never break. Every now and then we get a little rough and tough a little coscorron but just to you know lace up a little homie or an older homie at that or homegirl for the record i don't know it all homie I'm, I'm humble to say that every day we learn something new and let's get straight to the point you know today we're gonna talk about chicano rap homie do me a bottle a favor real quick uh go ahead and punch the like button subscribe if you haven't done so you know the ritual kick up your feet relax Spark up churrito, uh, open up your pistol, and just peep game, homie. Dale, guys. I, I believe Chicano rap has been through up and down, thick or thin. Some came, some went, some are gone. Rest in peace to those artists that left the footprint of this earth, that created good art. Till this day, their names uh, ring a bell on social media and their music uh, spark up good memories. So growing up, grow I come from a, a, a family that, that loves to create music, whether uh, behind the drum set, a guitar, microphone, whatever, whatnot. Music is always a good way to uh, relax the mind, keep yourself busy. Back in my days, watching my jefito play the drums inspired me to also pick up them two sticks and mess up my little drum set, but hey, Grew up making my little beats here and there. And till this day, every now and then, I get my little therapy sessions and rock on that mug. <laughs> I remember uh, when it came to the little backyard parties, getting a little tipsy. Some of the homies will get together and, and start freestyling, start rapping, uh, getting inspired by by the you know proper thoughts, Kid Frost, a lot of Shade of Brown. And you know, hearing all these other you know, rappers was uh, very motivational. Just seeing one of us every now and then, TV or to hear him on the radio. So well, there was times where we will be in the hood rapping, flowing, and you had the older homies kind of be metiches like, "Hey man, you know that ain't cool. That ain't homie like. Well, that rap is for the for the morenos, and that ain't uh, that ain't for the homies." Leave that alone, homie. Nah, nah, nah. Charlie. So, yeah. rapping was kind of frowned upon, you know, from the older homies. Growing up you know, in the hood, you, just like any other youngster, we, we rebel, we don't give up. God damn, you know, what you gotta say. We did what we did, and it was part of just, you know, sparking up some yes, God, and just reciting little, little freestyle here and there. None of us had skills. We were just a lo pendejo, just pretty much saying what we wanted to say and rapping to instrumental, especially more bounce to the ounce, Zap and Roger. Uh, I believe Chicano rap you know, got it really rough. Until this day, it gets rough. Like people say, you know, our, our biggest critics are our own gente. You no, know, right away, oh, he's not a real one. Oh, that vato's a from studio gangster he don't even go to his hood ain't nobody know him right away we want to knock the homie down we want to judge a homie this happened a lot back in the days because i remember homies throwing cds out the, the window <laughs> little rob capone them battles ain't no real ones they're studio gangsters well yeah of course they're gonna say that because they see them on tv they see them doing this and that and back in the days it, a real one wouldn't be on tv a real one wouldn't be on the radio and homies back then were not used to seeing our own on tv the radio or in front of the camera whatsoever and i'm sure to this day a lot of a lot of g's hold up to those standards and mi respetos i myself did my thing when creating a little art flowing to whatever you living at the moment whatever you see around getting the raza going it just made me feel good especially when they slap on a firme gangster little beat you know representing the hood i mean the homies get all happy you know it just it just felt good this is just you know my personal perspective and i'm sure a lot of homies 
got to hear this too. I remember chilling with one of my sallies at one time. We're going through the music catalog and we started to see some of these Chicano rappers. It, it was a, a challenge, I believe, for Chicano rappers. Chicano rappers had beef back in the days. I mean, me, I was too busy game banging on, on enemigos. And uh, I guess there was other people game banging on other rappers. That's a whole different topic. But now, as the years went by, uh, thanks to social media and technology, uh, we're able to create our own art. We're able to visualize and with the push of a button, able to display our craft. So it, it makes me happy to see these young, talented Chicano rappers, which a lot of them are a little uh, skeptical, maybe, to end up boxed in, as they say. It's not that you're getting boxed in, homie. People, are regardless, are going to label us as Chicano rappers because that's the stamp they gave us a long time ago. And it's going to continue, no matter your swag, no matter your stilo, or your, your way of rapping. I think that that's a staple that's already there and done homie cannot remove it just like a tattoo it's there for life so having that i think we gotta just make the best of it now homie like one of the homies said uh a while back eventually you keep putting things in the box it's gonna overflow over in a bigger box what is it that you're gonna do with that box homie that's the question it's now um what you say is how you say it it's not the approach it's how you approach you know what I mean? So now seeing all these homies behind the camera, producing, directing, whether acting or music, it makes me feel good. Like, OK, finally, we got the Raza standing up, uh, taking advantage, whether if it's comedy, acting, music, uh, writing, directing, producing hey, or, or business, any type of business, any industry, long as you're making feria. And representing the raza and i think that's all that matters man chicano rap man uh, i think it's it's going in a good direction and i and i see that it's gonna get even better just uh gotta uh ignored all the negativity it's part of the show look at all these uh, big rappers snoop dogg tupac uh, bobby brown ice t they all had drama if you stay, your name is relevant and you stay in the ears and the, in front of the eyes of people, believe me, you're going to be well off. Ladies and gentlemen, homies, don't, don't take it personal when people talk about you. Don't take it personal when you see your pictures, your name or your image all over social media. Take it like promotion. But come on, who are we, homie, to dictate this and that? Who are we? Once we become a public figure, that's it, homie. We are in the hands of the gente. Que sawita pierde. Going back to uh, Chicano rap, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it falls back to gangster rap. Really uh, gravitate to the streets, the prison lifestyle. So we expect, you know, homies under that label to carry themselves with the utmost respect and to be real about what they rap about or talk about. I mean, hey, they're going to hold you up for it, homie. I mean, look what happened to Money Suede. Who knows if he ever got Glecha from my older homie. From what I hear, he was not from nowhere. And look, ended up locked up, you know, got himself into trouble. I don't know if anyone gave him little Glecha. And if they did, he didn't. Obviously, he did not listen, thinking that maybe he knew it all, that he was bigger than the program. Hey, things didn't end well. Another thing too, when it comes to you know uh, Chicano rap, are are you uh, from a barrio? Uh, have you been to jail, to prison? And if you've been to prison, have you been to a level four, a level three, a one eighty to the shoe? <laughs> so it's like you're not good enough. There's always something coming up, and sometimes, unfortunately, residents get the wrong end of the stick. That's just you know advice out there for you youngsters growing up in the rap game i believe there's success coming to chicano rap a lot of the homies that oh, that started back you know a few years back now look they're finally getting their shine on and that's cool finally they're making a breakthrough 
And I believe that's going to come along for a lot of people. They're saying that Mexican rappers down in Mexico, Spanish rap is, is popping right now. So, hey, that's going to be interesting. I believe when it comes to this Chicano rap, there's different categories. You got the old school, the new school. You know, you got the little homies with the with the new swag, with the Edgar haircut, a different type of, you know, style. That, and us homies that grew up in the 90s, being bald and typical cholo pretty much. You know, everybody has their own style. You know, I like the fact that the younger homies now are kind of more blending in, you know, because let's keep it real. Rap is a, it's a black sport. You no, know, look at Eminem being a gabacho. He went through up and downs. He was tested. But hey, at the end, he made it through. He brought something different to the table. He was very creative and very thick skinned. He, he was one of the, ended up being one of the biggest selling music. The numbers don't lie. So it's never easy when you're an outsider. We had different type of ethnicities in the rap game. But hey, at the end of the day, it became very successful and, and made history. And now I think this is our chance when it comes to Mexican-Americans, Chicano rappers. I believe the next five to ten years, we're going to see a lot of raza coming up, blowing up. When it comes to the rap game, finally, we're being embraced. Finally, it's cool to be a Chicano, Mexicano. I just wanted a real quick touch on this Chicano rap, on what what happened and what's going on and and what's gonna happen be expecting blessings for those young independent little homies that are rapping or thinking of rapping sometimes it's better to just make music for the ladies dancing club music i think that makes more money than just gangster rap but hey that's just my opinion look at uh the the, the young rapper uh desi hollow that man from oceanside wow his still looks different. And, and you know what? It, you don't really hear it. You see videos, you see them here and there, but no no type of controversy, no negativity, or any type of chisme or mitote behind him. I mean, I don't know how good he's doing in numbers, but just alone, I believe he has talent. Uh, if he writes his own music, oh, wow. Tip my hat. And very good choice of uh, sampling some of these old beats and, and music to bringing them now and uh, creating from them. You don't gotta portray yourself to be a gangster and not be about it. You gotta be a real one, homie. You know, because people are gonna hold you up. Look look at Tupac. Tupac, you know, everybody believes he was just one of this crazy thug, gangster, wooty woo woo. Yeah, he talked a good one, good music, good uh, poetry. He had a message in his music, but at the end of the day, he was from the East Coast, ended up in the West, not even from a California hood. Look at Dr. Dre, Ice Cube. They're not, a, they're not even real gangbangers. I don't know about Snoop, but you hear all this negativity about him getting on the stand, telling. You see what I'm saying? You got these dudes getting away with this and that, and there ain't too many people holding them up for it, you know? It's good to know history because History repeats itself. No matter the industry, no matter the career, what it is, that's what it's going to be. So, hey, hope you guys like this video. With that said, por favor, don't forget to give me a like, drop a comment, and uh, que viva Chicano rap. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Manny, and I'm the Jaguar Man. Con eso dicho, you guys have a blessed day. Keep turning that frown upside down. Vámonos recio. Dale gas on me. Al rato. Damn, if I don't. Got the hooters. Got the enemy. Yeah. Oh, man. Fuck it. I ain't gonna go out like that. Yeah. Damn, if I do. Damn, if I don't. I lost a real one, my boy. I won't lose myself. I stay on point. I don't give a fuck. Ended up in the joint. Damn, if I do. Damn if I don't Never leave my burner say I won't Yeah This time is for real To make history You gotta know history Young homie listen up carefully Life is short but an endless mystery Born free unexpected discovery Product of my environment Our destiny From up the hills everything looks